Magic and technology, how does your world work? For me, this is where we get into the real fun of SpecFic. We get to add or subtract fancy technologies, magics, and more to the world to see how that changes the way people or whatever inhabits your world live their lives. Some things keep to keep in mind. SpecFit can explore what it's like to live with less or just different technology as well as more, as it does in genres like steampunk and some dystopian novels. It's okay to imagine a better world. There is nothing wrong with writing a utopia instead of a dystopia. Your most basic decision is this. Does your world contain magic, unusual technologies, or lack of usual ones, or both? This decision will influence almost everything in your world. This week, you'll create a list of magics or technologies you already know will be in your world. I suggest doing this as a bulleted list as it's more useful than trying to do it in narrative. If you've never created spells or technologies before, take a look at the tools to play with list this week. It will send you to gaming resources. Many RPGs rely on detailed spell and technology descriptions, and so borrowing from their tool set is a great way to get started on building your list of tech or magic. Here is an example of a magical ability from my work in progress. Fire starting. To burn something, the spell weaver must have a source of heat, a campfire, a torch, or for the very advanced, the sun. The amount of heat their fire can generate is directly tied to the amount of heat in their source with some loss. How much loss is determined by how adept they are. Note that this names the power, explains what it requires, explains what it does, places conditions on how it works. A good descriptor does at least these four things so that when you use it in your writing, you will know its powers and its limitations. Are the technologies or magics that populate your world available to everyone or only a few? How does this shape the way people interact? Does it give some people power over others? What are the social ramifications of either its abundance or its scarcity? This decision will have a lot to do with how the power dynamics in your society work. A society where everyone has access to space travel, for instance, is very different from one where only a few are well-trained astronauts or soldiers whose government sends them into space. Technologies and magics both run on power. What powers them in your world and how is this power mined, accessed, generated? How is it apportioned? Where is it abundant? Where is it scarce? Are there social, environmental, personal, or political costs of using this resource? This presentation hits the major elements of magic and technology and world building, but because it is often where the most creative ideas come into writing specfic, you'll also be asked to write a bit about some part of how this all works in your world that I didn't think of. Remember, in specfic, you can make anything happen. I'm really excited to see what magic or science you are creating.